G'day guys, uh, my name is Jordan Sprigg. My favourite piece is usually the one that I'm building at the time. The Black Rhino took me 550 hours to make and was built from a variety of recycled metal that I collect from scrap heaps and antique stores. So the first part in the process for the Black Rhino is getting the design done. I'll then build the steel frame base. Then the internal skeleton will be welded to this. Uh, this will give the sculpture all its strength and rigidity. And then work on the, the legs and the feet um, and give them all their girth. then usually move on to the rump for something like the rhino, then the chest, and then lastly the head. The head is the most important part and especially the eyes, so I do take extra time with that. I do add elements of stainless steel now as well and that's usually the final touch because it does really contrast against the rusty recycled metal. I did really enjoy building the dinosaur that I just finished, which was the Australovenator. So I guess the inspiration behind my sculptures is the expansive animal kingdom. Over the years, I think I have come to appreciate the materials I use. Some of the rusty metal has been dated over a hundred years old. So I think there's always some sentimental value in all the pieces I use. So I find probably the most challenging part is, especially with the big pieces, being able to build up at a certain height if it's a rearing horse or if it's a, a dinosaur tail or if it's a, the antlers on a deer, it's really hard to work at heights above two metres. So usually what I do is I cut off the tail, cut off the head or cut it off at the neck and then work it at a, at a reasonable height. Focus just as much on the business and marketing side of the art just as much as you do the creating side. It is the difference between a hobbyist and a full-time artist is generally how much time they spend on the business side. 